It's chip sealing season. Hey, That's right. In ACHD, <laughs> they say that they're seeing an uptick in cars that they are forced to tow because they're in their designated work area. Yeah, very a big conversation in between our viewers and and really the community members. Abby Wilt is live in the north end where they are sealing. Abby, what can you tell us so far? Brenda, yeah, it is a big conversation. A lot of residents are saying that they're frustrated because their cars are getting towed, but ACHD is saying they are doing their best to be able to in inform everyone of where the chip sealing process is. We're here in the north end where there are these no parking ACHD signs, and ACHD told me today that the north end is where they're finishing the fogging process of the chip sealing, but as you can see, the signs might not even be working. There is a car parked in it right here as we speak, so not sure if those ACHD signs are working, but they're definitely trying to inform residents as they can. It's chip sealing season in Ada County. It's a multi-phased process. New um, roads and new parking spots for some and also a headache for dozens who have had their cars towed while crews work. Uh, this year we're already up above 150. ACHD maintenance director Lloyd Carnegie says that's higher than most. So, um, on average we would see you know, anywhere from 80 to 90 in a chip seal year. And that's despite giving ample warning. Um, and then a week prior to, we have uh, individuals go out and put door hangers on everybody's door, giving them an approximate date when the crew should be in the area. ACHD and, sends out a mailer to every affected resident early in the season. Um, so they get the knowledge that they're going to be in their area this summer. Um, in addition, they put up no parking signs 24 to 48 hours before the process even begins. That's a notifying the residents to not park on that street so we can be more effective in our operation. This year, ACHD is sealing Zone 5, which is the dark blue zone on the map on your screen. It includes downtown and the north end, which is the area that's seeing the most cars towed. You know, going into the north end was going to be very challenging with parking. So they came up with a system to only work on the north and south roads at one time while leaving the east and west roads open and vice versa. And it's been very effective. Um, and when they do have to tow. Street, so residents shouldn't have to go very far if their vehicle was towed. It's usually just one or two streets down that they can find that vehicle parked. Okay. There is no impounding of the vehicles. Um, they're just parked along the street. They're locked, so if the citizen brings their keys, they can just get back in the vehicle and move it where they need to. ACHD also posts an interactive map on their website so residents know what sealing has been done, what's currently being done, and what's coming in the future so that residents can plan accordingly. Uh, we still just, there is a lot of cars that park in that area, and we understand it, and uh, we, we try our best to make sure that residents know what to do. And ACHD is asking that residents be patient with them as the chip sealing process really is making the roads safer and more drivable for everyone. And they said to make sure to respect these rules and watch out for these signs and don't park where they say no parking. Yeah, Joe, Brenda, back to you. Thank you so much, Abby, for that report.